بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے اوور لیسن از فسٹ اسلامی کمیونٹی امہات المومنین مدرز آف فیتھ فل مدرز آف بلیور یعنی وائس آف دی ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ آر ایڈی کہ وائف آف دی ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آر کارڈ امہات المومنین مدرز آف فیتھ فل بیکاز اللہ سے زندی قرآن ان سورہ عذاب واز واجہ امہات ہوں and his wives are their mothers that's why wives of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam are called ummahatul mu'minin mothers of faithful in the previous lesson we already discussed the names of the mothers of faithful wives of the holy prophet sallam hazrat fatija حضرت سودا حضرت عائشہ حضرت حضرت حفصہ حضرت زینب حضرت ام سلمہ حضرت زینب بن تجاج حضرت جویریہ حضرت ام حبیبہ حضرت صفیہ حضرت محمونہ اینڈ حضرت ریحانہ اینڈ حضرت ماریہ کی ان ڈیٹیل وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈسکس حضرت فتیجہ بن تخوالد Today we are going to discuss Hazrat Sauda bint Zama, Hazrat Sauda, daughter of Zama, Razi Ratala Anha. First look at the introduction of Hazrat Sauda. She was the second wife of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She was born 566 AD. Her father Zama bin Tekas was from Banu Amir, a branch of Quraysh in Mecca. Her mother name was Ashams bin Tekas, was from Najjar Kren of Khazraj tribe in Medina. First she married Sakran bin Amr. They had one son, Abdurrahman bin Sakran. Acceptance of Islam Hazrat Sauda Razi Latala Anha was among the early convert, converts to Islam. Hazrat Sauda and Sakran migrated to Abyssinia at the order of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. They returned to Mecca where Sakran died. Hazrat Sauda did not have anyone to look after her. Marriage with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam When Hazrat Sauda's first husband passed away, she was all alone on the other side after the death of Hazrat Khatija Razi Latala Anha. People asked the Prophet Sallallahu to marry, to look after the house and the children. So Prophet Sallallahu sent her marriage proposal through Hazrat Khawla Razi Latala Anha, which she accepted. They were married in 620 AD, 10th year of Prophethood, a few months after Hazrat Khatija's death. Marriage to Sauda was an act of kindness as well as convenience. She had married Muhammad Sallam at the age of 55 and the Prophet Sallam was 50 years old at that time. Services she immediately look over the care of his daughters, Mekal Soon, Hazrat Fatima, 
he started managing the affairs of the prophet sallallahu household as well as well she pleased to prophet sallallahu's heart and help him going on calling for allah she migrated to medina as prophet sallallahu sent her with his children to medina before he left makka when prophet sallallahu sallam divided his time equally among his wives hazrat sauda gave her turn in the favor of hazrat aisha razi la taala anha she was humble pious and simple lady and was very punctual about prayers she wholeheartedly welcomed the new wives of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam she narrated five ahadith she died in 22 ah 644 ad in medina in the khilafat of hazrat umar razi la taala anhu and buried in jannatul baqi it is our lesson today i hope you all understood inshallah we will discuss on the other wife of the holy prophet sallam in the next lessons allah hafiz